Good evening, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome, welcome to your class. How is everybody? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Good evening I'm fine. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And welcome to your class, people. It's nice to have you today. Thank you so much. Let me see. Uh, how are you doing, Mr. Carmen Leonora? <clears throat> Hey, teacher. How are you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. And you? Yes. I'm Perfect. very, very cool. All right. Thank you so much for your notification. And I appreciate your presence here in the class. Thank you so much. I have more people connected, and that's amazing. How are you doing, Mr. Moises Antonio? Good evening, teacher. I'm, good evening, uh, good evening. Very good. Very good. Amazing. Thank you so much. I have more people online. What about you, Jocelyn? How is everything? Is Jocelyn Hissel. Hello, hello. How are you doing? <clears throat> hello. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Uh, very good, teacher. All right, amazing. Thank you so much and welcome to your class. Thank you, people. I see many people online and that's great. Thank you for coming and thank you for being really punctual for today's session. Let's get uh, let's get into the first task, which is checking attendance. And then we begin on some information for today's class. Let's begin on attendance. Miss Aida Milady Martinez. <clears throat> Aida Milady. Not yet, I continue. Carmen Leonor Ruiz. Present, teacher. Perfect. Christian Rafael Gonzalez. Mr. Christian Rafael. Right, no problem. I continue. Eduardo Josue Garcia. Mr. Eduardo, Josue. No problem, I move on. Fatima Yesenia Alas. Present teacher. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Heidi Alicia Rodriguez. Miss Heidi Alicia Rodriguez. All right, no problem, I continue. Uh, Miss Lizette Enriquez. <clears throat> Miss Lizette Enriquez, all right, no problem. I move on. Jessica Beatriz Vasquez. Jessica Beatriz Vasquez. Not yet. I continue. Jessica Jamilet Lozano Arias. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And Miss Jessica Jamilet as well. Thank you so much for joining. The next person, Jonathan Nehemias Garcia. Jonathan, Jonathan. All right, I continue. Jose Manfredo Ramirez. Present. Oh, thank you so much, mister, for joining. Jocelyn Giselle Quintanilla. Present, teacher. Perfect. Then, Josue Roberto Gonzalez. Present, teacher. Oh, perfect, mister. Thank you. Catherine Alexandra Flores. Present. Thank you, Miss. Kenny Lizette Sayes. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Luis Alejandro Girón. Present teacher. Perfect. Mario Alberto Solís. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Moises Antonio Vázquez. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. Néstor Jairo de Paz. Present teacher. Amazing, thank you. Then I go with Orquídea Stephanie Pineda. Miss Orquídea Stephanie Pineda. Okay, continue. Rosa del Carmen Beltrán. Miss Rosa del Carmen. Okay, no problem. I continue. Sara Vanessa Díaz. Present teacher. Perfect, perfect. Then I go with Wilfredo Lara Rodesno. 
Present teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you. Then I have Jamilet del Carmen Marin. Present teacher. All right, all right. Jancy Esmeralda Joya. Jancy Esmeralda. Not yet, I continue. Suleima Esmeralda Garcia. Miss Suleima, hello, hello. All right, thank you so much everyone for joining on today's session. It's nice to have you here. Welcome all of you for the class. I know if you didn't have the chance to respond, don't worry, your attendance is already here. So don't worry on that one. But thank you so much for joining. Let me, see. Let me check on some information. And just as a reminder, today we have some assignments. And today, let's see, July 5th, oh, we have still the homework assignment from yesterday. Don't forget about that one, all right? So far I have some answers. 10 from 13, don't forget about that one, please. Recordarles antes de iniciar la clase que tenemos activa la tarea de la semana 4, tiene fecha de vencimiento, 5 de julio, todavía se tiene el día de mañana para hacer su envío correspondiente. Así que le invito a hacerlo y no quedarse sin su calificación. 10 personas ya me lo enviaron, así que muchas gracias. Los demás estamos pendientes de la tarea 4. Please, 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 don't forget about that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me check on some information uh, for today. Let me see. Let's begin. We continue working on this one. And what class are we having today, people? What? Class number? 17. Uh -huh. 17? 18. Oh. Oh, no, 18. 18. Thank you so much. 18. Class 18. Thank you. That's it. Perfect. We work on unit number four. And let's remember, what is the name of this unit? <clears throat> And thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. There we are. Check on the screen. What's the name, people? Name of the unit? Address Addresses? And places. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much. We go for that one. Addresses and places. Thank you so much. That is what we have for today. Let's have a quick review of some information. Miss Suleima, what were the phrases we practiced yesterday? Vamos a ver, Suleima. ¿Qué frases practicamos el día de ayer en la clase? En la segunda parte de la clase. Solo fueron dos. Tres. Let's see, Suleima. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Suleima. And how to use. Mm -hmm. There is and there are masks. One. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Suleima. Question for everyone. If I want to talk about that something is present, that something exists, and I'm talking about one element singular, what is the phrase that we need? There is. There is. There is. 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 All right. Thank you. And if I talk about a, about a plural element, how do I say it? There are. There, are. there are. are. Thank you so much. We also studied some quantifiers, right? To express quantity, but not a specific, right? Not specific quantity. That is the one. Tell me, some... what, is, what is the expression to say zero, nothing? No. no. There are some. No, for to say zero, huh? like zero no. to zero. Huh? No. no zero. No. Say no. No. All right. Mm -hmm. The expression to express a big quantity, more than necessary, more than normal, we say? A lot of. A lot of. Everybody, we say? Everybody? A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. All right. 
and to express acceptable quantity, not too much, not too little, we say? Some. 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 Exactly. There we are. Nicely done, people. Nicely done. Just to get started, let me, uh, let's begin on the first activity and let me show this to you. Let me see. I am going to share the first activity and let me copy this to you. I need your collaboration to access the link and to begin the practice. It's a multiple choice exercise. So click on this one, type in your name and begin working on this exercise. I already, uh, I already gave you the link over WhatsApp. And at this moment, I give you the link over the Zoom chat. Please access the practice and try to solve the exercise. Please, please, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's work individually on this exercise. Thank you so much. How is everybody doing in their practice? Doing nice? Let me see in the responses. Thank you so much. I have many people already finished on this exercise. Tell me, how did it go in the practice? Everything okay? So, so difficult? How was nice, the teacher. Nice, easy. <clears throat> yes. All right. Tomorrow we have the final exam. Are you ready for the exam? Yes. So no. so did you? So so. Hmm. Interesting. Don't worry. I know you will do a nice job. And thank you so much, everyone, for participating on this on the, on this first exercise. Let me give <clears throat> the top five for this one. It is about correct answers and about the time. So congratulations to the top five in this one, right? I have Miss Aida Milady, Manfredo, Sarah Ivanesa, Luis Alejandro, and Jonathan. Congratulations to you for the best time, but my congratulations to all of you for doing a nice job. 
Now, let's Thank work you. together on this one. Huh? Let's work together on this one. People, tell me, read the complete and correct expression <clears throat> for this one. We say? There are, are two my neighbors. They are. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. There are, everybody, there are. There, there are. are. There are. There are. There are. There are. Thank you. Good one. Let's check on the next one. What do we say, people? There's there is, is, there is, there is, is part in the park. An, an amusement. An amusement. An amusement. In the fair. 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 Like with like with E, right? Fair. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good job, people. Nicely done. Let's see on the next one. What do we say? There are any oh. students mm -hmm. in, the, in this country. In the thank, country. You. thank you so much. There isn't or there aren't people. There aren't. Are. Why, uh, why aren't any? Why is your selection adding? Why? They're adding. Why? Porque no hay ningún zoológico en la ciudad. Ah, okay. But in this case, there is other specific uh, specific detail. Why they're adding? Why is that your selection? Because okay. any is so. All right. Check on this one. Aren't. Singular or plural? Or plural. 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 Listen to this one. Sus. Singular or plural? Plural. 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 Exactly. So we need to match on this one. Plural more than one. And similar <laughs> in the sentence, we have sus more than one. For that reason, the best option is there aren't. Right? Because of the because of the elements on the exercise. Good job. Nice done, people. Let's go for the next one. We say there is there is there is a swimming pool in my city. In my city. Exactly. Teacher, tell me, tell me. How do you say pool for for the sport, the one with with the with the stick pool. in the ball? No, pool. Pool. A swimming pool. 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 Ah, pool. 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 Exactly. Thank you. Hmm? No problem. Thank you. Thank you. And by any by any chance, the other game that is like this one. Let me let me go on this one. We pronounce it the same. Let me show this one because we have same pronunciation for other sport. In this case, we have the swimming pool. It's a place. Let me see if I can if I can uh, search for this one in my internet is good enough. I will be able to show you one. But I believe my internet is not working that fast. But I will I will show you a picture of this one, right? I will show you a picture of of this uh of this game that we can play. But later on, right? Let's continue in this one. Uh, sorry, did you say there is or there are people I forgot? What was your selection, people? There is. There, there is. is. All right, thank you so much. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see on the next one. What do we say? There is. Complete sentence? There is. There is, there is a around the corner. Around the corner. Okay. Check on this one. Museum. 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 Uh-huh. Exactly. There is a museum around the corner. Nicely done, people. Nicely done. All right. What about the other one? Yeah. Uh, in San Salvador. Is this correct, people? There are three movie theaters or more? Yes. 
Mm, more. The more. Yes. All right. All right. How many, plus. how many do you think there are? How many movie theaters in San Salvador? Five, six, seven? Three, four, five. There are. Six. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. There are seven uh, movie theaters. All right, seven movie theaters. All right, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you so much. And on this one, good job on the plural element. We're about to finish and check on the next one. What? How do we complete this one? Uh-huh. There is, there is a, not a, swimming pool a swimming pool in my house. All right, all right. This is similar to me, people. So sad. There isn't. What about in your house? There is or there isn't a swimming pool in your house? There isn't. Oh, there isn't. All right, all right. What about no. for you, Suleyma? What about the swimming pool? There is or there isn't? Mm -hmm. Check on the microphone, please. Okay, I isn't. Mm -hmm. There isn't. All right, all right. Thank you so much. All right. Good one, people. Good one on this one. Good selection. And the last one, I believe. How do we complete? There are, there are yes. many schools in the United States. States. There are. There are. There are. All right. Thank you. There is or there are, people? There are. There are. Good job. Good job. Thank you so much. And on this one, nicely done for this one. Nicely done and congratulations. Everything correct. Correct, correct, correct. Thank you so much. Now, just to continue with a quick review on this content, let's go over some exercise and then we begin on some speaking activity because, you know, we love talking to people. Now, let's work together and I believe we can do this as a class. Let me show. Let me make it bigger. Just in case you have the book, we are working on this page, people. What page is it? Check on the record. 42. Page 42. 42. Exactly. If you 42. have the book, thank you. If you have the book, you can check on this exercise, page 42 from your books. Let's work together and let's complete the sentences and for this i need your collaboration let's do it orally people okay. check on the check on the elements marketing presentation singular or plural thank you singular. 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 singular singular and what is the expression for singular there, there, there is, is presentation. there is only there is marketing presentation no there is a marketing presentation Ah, oh, thank you. Remember the necessary element for singular. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. In the morning. Okay, Nestor, what do you think? Nestor, what's your opinion? Number one, is this okay or no? What's your opinion, Nestor? Yes, it's okay. Uh, see, yes, they is a market. Okay, thank you so much. Let me have more people participate. Sara Ivanesa, what's your opinion for number one? Is this okay? Teacher, can you repeat, please? Yeah, no problem. Uh, I need your opinion to tell the class if you think this is good or if it is not a good sentence. What do you say? There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Yes, teacher. It's All okay. Right. Perfect. Thank you so much. And nicely done, people. It is okay. What about on the other one? Take a look at the next exercise. We incorporate some for the sentence. So, 
What about this one? Business workshops. Singular or plural, people? Plural. 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 All right, it's plural. And what is the expression for plural, people? We say... There, there are, are, are some business workshops. Exactly. Business workshop. There are uh, some business workshops. All right. Check on this one and notice something. Ah. Uh, do we use ah uh, with plural elements? No. No. no, all right, no, remember the letter, the article a uh, or an is not for plural. Don't forget about that one, right? Don't forget on this one. In this case, for plural, all right, an an is only for singular. For singular, yes, happy face. But for plural, all right, in this case, we don't need anything, all right? Not anything on this one. No article. Let me copy this one and let me change the order. Let me see like this one. Nothing because we have a plural element, right? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Like this one, okay? Don't forget about this one. Depending on the complement, you need to go for our and or nothing. Tell me, mister. Para singular, no utilizaremos ni a ni a. For this one, yes. For singular, yes. Para singular, sí. Para plural, Ajá. no. Pero no. sí, s, una s adicional. Uh, o no. habría no, al final, case... porque aquí business Ajá. workshops. All right. Check on this one. The information of this part, our an, is before the noun. Right, check on this one. This is before in this position. That is the info. In this position for plural, nothing. Why? Because this is plural, but this is a different thing. This is a plural noun, but for plural nouns, we don't incorporate anything. Ve acá, me pregunta si agregamos una S. Eso es haciendo un nombre en plural. El uso del our and no quiere decir porque sí está relacionado hasta cierto punto. Pero cuando yo les hago referencia, si es plural o singular acá, es para que usted vaya pensando si necesitamos algo, eh, un artículo our and en antes de lo que estamos hablando. Siempre que tengamos un nombre en plural, como el ejemplo acá, Business workshops, que generalmente se, se identifica porque tienen una S extra. Entonces, en esos casos, aplicamos eh, que en el plural no llevan nada antes de lo que hacemos mención. Si usted ve antes de business workshops, no tenemos ni a ni an. Cuando sea singular, entonces ahí sí podemos agregar un elemento. Imagínense que yo solo tenga business workshop. Acá, si yo, si yo tuviera solo business workshop, like this one in my sentence, in this case, something is missing. Vea que acá, porque estoy hablando solo de uno, workshop, acá sí voy a aplicar la regla del singular. Y acá sí tengo que poner algo antes del nombre al cual estamos haciendo referencia. ¿Ok? ¿Será que necesito a or an, people? Antes de business workshop. What do we need? Ah. 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 Exactly. Ah. For, ah. Perfect. For pronunciation. Recuérdese que a el an tiene la misma función, pero por cuestión de pronunciación, se utiliza uno o se utiliza el otro. Eso es lo que vamos a ir chequeando. Pero lo que tenemos que prestar atención en general es si es singular o si es plural. Para ver si vamos a agregar un artículo. El son no es un artículo, eso es otra, tiene otra función, porque son cantidades. Y cuando son cantidades es porque es en plural. No pudiera decir hay un algunas tienda. No juega. El son es generalmente para los plurales. Pero el énfasis acá no an y an en el uso de este de, de información. Luis Alejandro. Uh, teacher, 
Mire, hace años que no recibo una clase de lenguaje, pero creo que Tom sería como un adverbio. Y si es un adverbio, ¿cómo se dice en inglés esa palabra? <risa> El nombre adverbio, tal cual. Sí. No. ¿O cómo sería la idea, Luis? O, oh. dígame. Es un adverbio. En este caso sí es un adverbio de cantidad. El SOM es un adverbio de cantidad que generalmente le llamamos quantifier, es como un cuantificador, digamos, porque estamos hablando de cantidades. Eso sí puede ir antes de un sustantivo, que sería un business workshop. Lo que no agregamos sería un artículo, que sería a, an, o cuando ya tenemos algo específico de lo que hacemos referencia, ponemos el artículo, el o la, que sería the en inglés. ¿Okay? Pero acá no estamos utilizando, para los plurales no ponemos artículos. Pueden llevar, en este caso, quantifiers, yes, no problem. Ahí sí puede llevar cuantificadores, sí, pero eso no, una categoría no afecta a la otra, ¿ok? En estos casos. Luis Alejandro, I don't know if that answers your question. Yes, teacher, thank you. All right, no problem, no problem. All right, so check on this one. Plural, let's read the sentence, people, to practice. Repeat after me. There are some business workshops down the street. Everybody, practice. There, there are some, some business, business workshops down, 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 down the street. Down the street, right? Thank down you. The street. Down exactly. The street. Thank you. Let's go for the other one and let's work together on this exercise. Uh, recruitment centers, plural or singular. Plural. 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 Plural, exactly, right? Because of the presence of the letter S. What is the expression for plural elements, people? There, there are, are no. There are. There are. There are no. 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 All right. Exactly. What What is your opinion, people? Is this okay? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Now, listen and practice after me. There are no recruitment centers around my building. Everybody. There, there are, are no recruitment, recruitment centers around my, my building. My building. My building. Okay, thank you so much. That's correct. That's the way to go, people. Congrats, congrats. Let's go and complete the next one. Oh, let's complete. Let's see. Let's complete number four. We incorporate the element no for this exercise. Tell me, I need your collaboration. Do we have a plural or a singular element in this sentence? Singular. Singular or plural? Singular. Singular. In what place are we talking about? There is no. No, what is the place they mentioned? What place are we talking about? The the store of the corner. Store ah, corner. Exactly. The, the place the is corner. only store. 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 All right. And oh. now, singular or plural? Singular. 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 Only singular. one, right? Singular. singular. This is different. If I have stores, that is plural, right? But in the, in the exercise, Exactly. In the exercise, it is a singular element. And remember to incorporate the word no to make it uh, to express that something does not exist. How do we complete the sentence, people? There is no Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Good one on this one, people. Good job. Listen and repeat after me. There is no store oh. on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Everybody, one more time. There is no store. There is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Second Avenue. Second Avenue. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's complete on the next exercise. Uh, let's okay. complete the one below. Tell me, tell me. Excuse me. Um, it is Avenue or Avenue or Avenue? Avenue. Avenue. Ah, avenue. 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 
Mm -hmm. Avenue. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go for the next one, people. Let's work on this exercise. All right, we have it on the screen. So tell me, do we have a singular or a plural element in this sentence? Singular. 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 And what place are we talking yeah. about? Buildings around the building. Around around Exactly, around thank you so much, right? Around a building. This is the name of the place, right? Like Gonzalo building or Pla Maya building, right? That is the name. But the place is singular because we have building only one. In this mm -hmm. one, there is no restriction. So let's make it affirmative. How do we express the idea? There is, there is and there is, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is, and, and, or an, and, 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 yes, 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 exactly, because of pronunciation, remember, there is an Aranza building, it is easier, an Aranza, exactly, everything is for pronunciation listen to the other uh, to listen to the other uh not alternative but listen to this form there is a aranza right it is difficult to pronounce note que todo es por pronunciación para que nos salga más natural el, el sonido si yo pongo solo una a tengo que hacer una pausa entre el, el sonido de vocal y después otra vocal okay there is a aranza not natural. There is an aranza. Yes. Vea que hasta sale más fácil unir el sonido. Por eso es que el a o el an se define por la siguiente palabra y va por pronunciación. De eso va a depender. ¿Ok? Para que nosotros digamos la frase más fácil y más natural. Now, I believe we're missing only one exercise. One to go and you are ready for speaking activity. Now, number, let's work on number five. Plural um, or singular there element? Are, there are plural. Banks. All plural. right, plural. And what, plural. what plural. place are we talking plural. about? Banks. 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 Exactly, Banks. thank you, exactly. Plural element, thank you so much, right? Banks. This one, we go for affirmative sentence. The easy way, we say... There is. Bueno. There, uh -huh. there are. There are a, a bank. No. Banks. No. Banks. There are. There are some banks. There are some banks. Banks. Some banks. Some banks. It could be possible some. Okay. It might be possible, right? Let's create this one. In the exercise, we don't have it, but we might include them. Ve que el adverbio de cantidad no se nos ha dado en el ejercicio. No lo deberíamos incluir porque no nos lo sugiere, pero si quisiéramos nosotros, pudiéramos incorporarlo. Por eso se lo voy a poner en paréntesis, aunque a las legales el ejercicio solo sería there are. ¿okay? Nada más así quedaría el, ejer el ejercicio, por lo que se nos brinda en, eh, en, en el literal. Now, listen and practice after me. There are banks behind the factory I work. Everybody. There are, there are banks, 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 banks the factory I work. Exactly. Banks, factory I work. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And with this one, we finished on this exercise. Is there any question about this info, people? Questions, questions about this part? No, teacher. Everything ready for the test? Yes, teacher. Yes. Amazing. Let's do something. I need you to tell, to work on something. We are going to work on, on, on this exercise because we're talking about there is, there are, and we are talking about places. I need you to go and practice some information. Let me make this bigger so we can have some space. Let me get clean space at this moment. Let me see in this one. 
300 is uh, 400. All right, let's do something. We are going to work on this exercise. We work on a speaking activity. We are going to work in small groups and we work on this. One. This is the topic for today's practice. The perfect. All right, check on this one. What is the name of this activity, people? The perfect neighborhood. Everyone, hello, what's the name of this activity? The perfect, the perfect neighborhood. The perfect neighborhood. Exactly. Now, you are going to use your imagination to make a verbal description, all right? You incorporate and you can use different phrases from the previous class. Let me uh, type in my example. This is my example. In my perfect, let's see. And in this part, I am going to incorporate as many ideas using there is or using there are. For example, in my perfect neighborhood, I say, there is a big mall, right? Because I am using my imagination to describe it. It is not the real one. It is my creation, right? There is a big mall. There are some ice cream, some ice cream shops. There isn't uh let's see there isn't let me see something that I don't want. Díganme algo. Déjenme pensar en algo que no quiero en mi vecindario, en mi vecindario perfecto. There isn't uh, let's see. Una vecina. Uh, <laughs> una vecina, no, hey, come on, people. <laughs> no. All right. There isn't a house. Let's, 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 Uh, there is an, it could be possible. Sí sería posible, pero estamos hablando de lugares. Entonces, basura no es un lugar, sino que es algo. Para no salirnos tanto del tema, quedémonos con lugares. Déjeme explicarle por acá. Voy a poner uno. There is in a house. Uh, ¿Iglesia? Near my house. No, yo sí quiero una iglesia. Come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, ok, excellent. There is an, Uh, disco. disco. All right. Um, there isn't a disco. I say a disco, yeah. right? Because it is, there is too much noise. Porque hay mucho, mucho ruido, ¿verdad? Por eso quizás no en mi vecindario perfecto, no hay. There isn't a disco. Also, let me see. There is no, uh, let's see. Ah, there is no jail. Do you remember the word of jail? ¿Se recuerdan la palabra jail? Ah, there is no. Ya ve, hace rato, la, hace rato la practicamos, el jail, right? Ah, okay. there are, let me see, there are a lot of pupuserías, all right? That is my perfect neighborhood, yes, right? You see in this one, I am making a combination of different sentences, affirmative, negative, singular, plural, and I incorporate quantifiers. That is the activity for you. You work in a small breakup rooms and verbally you express your perfect neighborhood. Remember to make reference to places, right? Not for things, right? No se vaya, eh, vamos a hablar de lugares. Entonces, enfoquémonos en lugares para hablar para estar en el tema, ¿ok? Porque yo podría decir que hay muchos árboles, hay muchos carros, pero eso no son lugares, son objetos. Entonces, quedémonos con lugares, ¿ok? That is the practice at this moment. Use your imagination and try to express what the perfect neighborhood for you is. Questions? Ah, Miss Alexandra, tell me. Hi. How, how do you say cementerio? Oh, interesting. You say, you go like this one. You can say uh, graveyard, or you can say also cemetery. 
I'm not sure. Right. Okay, thank All you. Right. All right, perfect. Uh, there is or there isn't any in, in your neighborhood, or there are a lot. <laughs> En su, en su vecindario perfecto, ¿van a ver o no van a ver, Ale, Alexandra? There is hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Now, people, any question before we begin on this practice? Questions, questions? Hello, hello. Okay. Are, we, are we ready? Yes. Yes. All right. Remember to do it orally. Yo se los escribí por ahí para que les quede más o menos una idea de lo que vamos a hacer. Pero usted lo va a hacer de forma oral. Tomen turnos y vayan, vayan aportando. O si quieren como grupo, trabajen en un vecindario que a ustedes les gustaría tener. ¿Ok? Y vaya diciendo, there is or there isn't. Depending on you. Va a depender de ustedes qué desean tener o qué desean que no exista en su per perfect neighborhood. Let me get started and I will give you the chance to work in groups of three, right? Vamos a trabajar en trios para poder tener más interacción. I will give you 15 minutes for this one. Le voy a dar 15 minutos para que sea muy creativo y pueda participar con sus compañeros. Are you ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. Tell me, tell me, okay? ¿Cómo se dice refugio de animales? A animal shelter. Let me copy this one. Let me copy that one. Déjeme ponerlo por acá. Animal uh, shelter. Así sería. Animal shelter. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. Let's begin, people. And don't forget about plural and singular elements. No olvide utilizar la frase correcta si va a ser plural o si va a ser singular. Please, please, please. Now, let's begin. Thank you so much.
Uh, there are a lot of pupuserias. <laughs> mm -hmm. There is, there is uh, a big stadium. A restaurant Mex Mexican food? No, apple. Okay. Mexican food. Mexican food. The, there is, or oh, there are. There. No, there is. Mm. Restaurant. Restaurant. There is a restaurant. Mexican food. Uh, okay. There isn't um uh, and there isn't uh, uh si no me equivoco si se dice veterinaria uh -huh. o podríamos poner una tienda para una pet shop. Uh -huh. Una, una chivo pet. Ajá. Y lo que no quiero eh, serían. Uh, entonces sería veterinario. Vet veterinario. Veterinario. Aquí ya va. Eh, con, con il, no, con ni latina. Con el I latina, ajá, y eh, griega, exacto. There is a veterinary. Ah, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, tell me. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Eh, a mí me hicieron la observación de las, de las mayúsculas en, en, uh -huh. en el trabajo. Quería saber cuándo aquí, siempre después de un punto, las mayúsculas. Similar to Spanish, exactly. Es igual, es, es, igual, es, igual, es igual que el español. Generalmente, cuando expresamos una idea, vamos a utilizar un punto. ¿okay? Si ya digo, in my perfect neighborhood, there is a big market. Ahí, después del market, usted pudiera poner un punto. ¿okay? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Ahí no, ahí no. no ah, ah, ahí después no. de market. Okay. Después de market, right? En el primero es una frase normal. ¿verdad? In my perfect neighborhood, okay. there is a big market, period. Y you go with capital L. Y si vamos con mayúscula, there is a veterinary. Y así vamos creando la información. Mm -hmm. Perfecto, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Continue, you're doing great. And thank you so much for your job. Let's keep it up. Thanks, teacher. Um, um, Jocelyn, ¿cuál otra era? Teacher. Hey, tell me. <laughs> este, lo que yo más o menos entendía ahorita es que tenemos que armar como un párrafo donde mm -hmm. utilicemos las palabras de Rari y de Riz. No un párrafo. No necesito no. que lo escriban, necesito que lo hablen. Yo se los escribí para que usted viera cómo lo, qué ideas podía utilizar. Pero no necesito algo escrito, necesito que lo hablen. Ah, ok. O sea, esto que usted nos dio es hablarlo o Exacto. describir otra cosa. No, 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 no. Por eso la actividad se llama Speaking Activity, actividad para que hablemos. Yo lo okay. escribí porque si yo solo se los comento, de pronto no queda clara la idea. Por eso yo lo escribí. Pero en ningún momento usted me va a escribir algo. Necesito que lo hable. Usted ve idea. Hey, ¿Qué quiere en su, en su vecindario? Perfecto. I, my perfect neighborhood, there is a pool, there is a park, there are two uh -huh. cinemas, there are many rest, uh, a lot of restaurants. Usted lo tiene que expresar. Uh -huh. Esa ah, es la idea. Okay. Sí, es que entonces no lo había entendido porque Kenny uh -huh. está diciendo que igual no lo había entendido, es que como a ella se le está desconectando también el Inter. Creo que sí, comentó que tenía uh -huh. algunos problemas, ¿ok? 
si gustan, vamos a hacer algo. Les voy a incorporar a las dos a otro grupo para que puedan practicar. Así, okay. si alguien tiene problemas de internet, entonces no, no, no nos afecta, sino que siempre trabajamos okay. en grupo. ¿Ok? Les voy a transferir ¿Sí? a las dos a un mismo grupo para que puedan participar. Ok. Bueno, bueno. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Let's see, group number four. No es pregunta, o sea, usted va a hacer, por ejemplo, la lectura que está ahí, usted lo que va a hacer es poner lo que quisiera y lo que no quisiera en su vecindario, o sea, en su imaginación. Así como el ejemplo que está. Comenzando de There is. Vaya, o sea, usted va a empezar en My Perfect Neighborhood, There is a... Y usted pone ahí un lugar que quiera, que, o sea, es su, su imaginación, usted lo quiere en su vecindario. Dicha era una consulta. ¿Mm? Tell me. Cuando dice, there isn't mm -hmm. a house near house, ¿qué significa? Near, déjeme ver, near, near quiere decir cerca, cerca. No sé si la pero, idea quedó cortada o yo no la terminé de escribir, pero tendría que ser There is a house near my house. Que en mi vecindario perfecto no hay una casa cerca de la mía. ¿Ok? Eso es ah, lo que yo quiero expresar. Entonces, sí, así yo tengo, tengo suficiente mm. espacio para que no me escuchen. <ríe> Dígame. Mm. Yo quisiera, entonces sería... No, olvídelo. <ríe> ¿Lo olvido? ¿Ya, me, ya se me olvidó? <ríe> <laughs> no problem. How are you doing? ¿Cómo vamos? Ya Orquídea y yo ya lo ya dijimos, solo estamos ah. esperando a Wilfredo. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. All right. Recuérdese que ahí no es necesario seguir el patrón que yo les he puesto, que a ley tienen que iniciar con el there is a. Ah. No, no, no. Pueden utilizar con plural. La idea es que usted eh, demuestre la habilidad de utilizar el there is y el there are dependiendo lo que usted quiera utilizar, ok, ahí si es plural o si es singular pues usted va a ir utilizando lo que mejor considere, ok ahí vamos a demostrar que también lo hemos, lo hemos comprendido ¿Mm? ok ¿Mm? ¿cuánto tiempo nos va a dar para hacer el examen? ¿El, ¿cuál examen? No, no lo mañana Oh. Mañana. Mm -hmm. Ayer no expliqué de eso. Ajá. Ay, es Ay. que me confundo de examen. ¿A poco ahora tenía otro examen? <ríe> Quizás no era aquí. <ríe> no, 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 ¿Y de qué va a tratar, teacher? De la unidad 2. Quiero ver, hemos visto unidad 3 y 4. Unidad 3 y 4, de, eso, de esos temas va a, a, vamos a evaluar. Ya evaluamos unidad 1, unidad 2, y este ya es de la 3 y de la 4. ¿Mm? La estructura, el vocabulario que hemos visto, eso es lo que se va a evaluar. Teacher, yo tengo una duda con la tarea. Dígame, dígame. Fíjese que... Bueno, ayer y ahora intenté estarlo haciendo, pero lo que le digo yo a ellos es que hay casi 20 o 22 eh, oraciones de completar, uh -huh. pero a la hora de dar las respuestas me dice 7 de 10, 8 de 10. Uh -huh. O sea, no entiendo cómo, cómo, cómo van ahí las calificaciones y cuáles son las buenas, si son las verdes o las rojas. Las rojas son las malas. Las rojas son las malas. Uh -huh. Las verdes es porque su respuesta fue correcta. Y ahí, pues, sí. oh, obviamente, si tenemos algunas que están malas, va a ir bajando la calificación, ¿verdad? Ya no, ya no obtendríamos el 10 completo, sino que dependiendo cuántas malas tengamos, así nos va a ir eh, asignando la calificación. Pero, o sea, me refiero, vaya, si son 22 oraciones, uh -huh. porque uh -huh. tira 10, 7 de 10, 8 de 10, así? Porque la calificación está basada en nota 10, por eso que nos tira así. 
no es que sea el total de, de respuestas, sino que es una en una escala basado al 10. O sea que en el, todo el ejercicio que usted hizo... Es un promedio. Tal, es el promedio, exacto, porque todo va basado en una nota 10. Entonces, de acuerdo Ajá. a las que tengamos correctas, ahí vamos subiendo. Si es 7 de 10, o sea que de la calificación 10, usted su, tu, se sacó un 7. Eso es lo que está marcando. ¿Mm? Ah, ok. ¿Mm? Bueno. All right. Perfect. I check on the last group and... And you continue practicing, all right? Si no hay otra pregunta, chequeo un último grupo y les doy chance para que puedan participar un poquitito más. Mm -hmm. Sí, está bien. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There is no a disco. Es no tener una discoteca cerca. There is no a disco. Ah, uh, there is no a disco. Um, más no me gustaría tener. Teacher, y cuando habla de, por ejemplo, estación, el calor, ¿entra acá o ya nos estamos desviando? Eh, ¿El qué, perdón? Por ejemplo, que hay calor. No me gustaría mi vez. Ah, si sí, nos desviamos un poquitito. Si sí utilizamos la estructura que hay o no haya, pero no es un lugar. Entonces, por el momento, por la unidad, estamos viendo lugares. Entonces, nos, no, nos quedamos tal vez solo con lugares por el momento. Ok. How is everybody already finished? Mm. Yes. Nos quedó algo exótico el vecindario, Ticha. Híjole, ¿qué sí. onda? ¿Y qué le pusieron por ahí? Me quitaron la disco. Um... Me quitaron la disco. <risa> Sorry, Neto. Había un, estaño, un, un estadio, montañas. Oh, eh, Allí. Hay un gym. Ah, oh, that's amazing. A lot of gyms. A lot of gyms. Yeah, oh, there is a restaurant. Ah, interesting. Oh, there is a good and um, big hospital. Big hospital. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, um, big uh, hospital for pet. Oh, amazing. That's good. Hey, give. Chivo pet teacher. You... Perfect. <laughs> it's good that you consider something like that. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right, people, at this moment, we return to the main room. Thank you so much for your time in the practice. I really appreciate your effort. Thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for the time in the practice. How did it go? What about the neighborhood? Did you complete the exercise? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes. All, all right. What places are you going to have? Can you tell me some ideas, please? What's, what's there in your perfect neighborhood, people? At least one. Vamos a colaborar. Por lo menos una idea de qué va a haber en su vecindario. One There is... Ajá, ¿qué? There is a big pool. I'm sorry. Thank you. There is a stadium. There is a stadium. All right. Thank you. What else, There people? There are watch. Car. All right. Thank you. There is a big park. There is a big park. Amazing. Thank you. Alexandra, tell me. Library. Uh, but tell me complete sentence, please. Yeah. Uh, there is a library. There is a library. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there wow. is a police station. There is a police station. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. What else? Uh, let me see, Eduardo. There are uh, noisy church. No, noisy churches. Noisy churches, right? Hey, D, what about you? What, what is your comment? 
Um, my my perfect neighborhood. There is an ice cream shop. All right. Oh, interesting. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, everyone, because I know you did a great job. I was checking on you, and I could listen to really nice, uh, really nice places over there. Question: mm -hmm. Is there a disco in your neighborhood? I mean, in this perfect neighborhood for you, is there a is there no, a no teacher. Is there disco? No. No. No teacher. Is there a bar in your neighborhood? In no. your perfect neighborhood? Why not? No. Why not? Yes. People? <laughs> Why <Qué> not? <laughs> no, yo digo the, porque a la the... gente le gusta. No, no es que a uno, pero a la gente le gusta. <risa> o a, a amigos a los amigos, exacto. Exacto. amigos. Exacto. buen negocio, eh, buen negocio. por si viene la visita de pronto les gusta ir a un bar pero no es que uno ande ahí people. All right. thank you so much thank you, thank iglesias you. no quieren pero bares si sí quieren ah sí, algunos dijeron que iglesias no que bárbaros no, hombre, iglesias claro. no hay... there, there is a, es, que, there... es que mucho ruido hacen las iglesias <risa> y los bolos Teacher. Teacher. Sí, también. Teacher. Teacher. Sí, sí. Alcohólico, Hanan. There is a Bartocha. There is a Bartocha. Da Bartocha. That's the word. Esa palabra me quería acordar hace rato cuando le puse Jane, pero no me acordaba de la Bartocha. Ah, cuando uno vive en zona céntrica y hay bailes, no lo dejan dormir. Exacto, exacto. Cabal, cabal. Exacto. Yo ya estoy en la edad que aprecio mucho dormir, así que... <risa> por ya, dos, ya. teacher. <risa> yeah. Por tres. Exactly. Por exactly. 20. Por, 20, por 25 <risa> que estamos en la clase. <risa> All right, thank you so much. Now, let's go for the next part, to the second part of today's session. You did great in the previous one. Let's continue working on this info. For this part, we have an objective. And... Let's listen and practice this objective. We will be able to describe how my and others working places and areas look like. Listen one more time. We will be able to describe how my and others working places and areas look like. Everybody, let's practice. Everyone, three, two, one. We will be able to find many other places areas areas look like thank you so much there we are so let's see let's see on this one I have some words and they are missing the vowels right so let's get the word Vamos a trabajar en la actividad que te vemos ahí en, la, en las letras verdes. Listen and repeat after me. Guess the word, everybody. Guess, Guess the, word. the word. Thank you. And what is the meaning of the word guess? ¿Qué significará esa acción que tenemos al inicio? Guess. Completa. Completa. Mm. Adivina la palabra. Adivina. Thank you. The, the verb or the action guess is like that. Tenemos ahí. Comfortable. Exacto. Me llega. Me llega. Me llega. Check on this one. The idea is to, is to guess the word. Vea que ahí estamos adivinando la palabra. Como les comentaba, tenemos en este caso eh, las vocales se nos han, se han fugado de la palabra. So in this one, we say people. A. Ajá. Uh -huh. Let, let's work on this one. How do oh. we spell it, right? C. Oh. C. C. O. O. N. N. Thank you. Thank you. Listen to me. Listen to times, please. Listen to times, and after that, you practice. Comfortable. Comfortable. Now, practice. Listen and repeat after me. Comfortable. 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 Exactly. Comfortable. Comfortable. That's Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. La, e, la O-R no esté. 
prácticamente. Comfortable, correcto. Uh -huh. comfortable. Porque a veces tendemos a decir comfortable, right? Y ahí no sería comfortable. Comfortable. Comf. Comfortable. 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 Puede ser, es, es algo muy común cuando estamos aprendiendo <risa> prácticamente, no hay problema. <risa> Comfortable. Comfortable. No, no es table, no es table. Comfortable. Comfortable. Pero ya ve, ahí vamos siempre aprendiendo. Thank you so much. Let's spell the other one. Vamos a tratar de adivinar, pero me gustó mucho la práctica de deletrearlo. Así que primero deletreamos y después adivinamos la palabra. Check on this one. Uf, this is a hard one. Hi. We spell A. Like this one. No, no, H at the end, right? H. All right. Hey. Yeah, yeah, hey. yeah. Let me yeah. like this one, people. Let me get my my like this one. No, no. No. Yeah. Ah, yeah. no. Like this Hi. one. Hi. Did you say this one? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. It's... It could be a it could be a possible combination. It could be a possible, but surprise. Take a look at this yeah. one. Yeah. What, what, what is the spelling? Let's spell oh, it together. Cute. Everybody. Ah, people. Listen and repeat after me. Huge. 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 All right. Thank you. All right. Check on this one. Easy way to, to know this one. Use your imagination, right? Let's say this is a small, right? This is big, right? And the other one, uh, ooh, check on this one. Huge. Talking about the sizes, all right? Huge. We have a small, we can have in this one B, and the other one, let's see, we say huge. Huge. Exactly. Ah, interesting. You see? Extra big. Yeah, it could be like extra big. <laughs> exactly. That could be the way to understand. Extra <laughs> Inmenso, grande, muy grande, exacto. Exactly. Huge. 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 Exactly. All right. Thank you. Good one. Good one. Thank you so much. Let's go for the other one. Let's discover. Remember, let's spell it. Spell it. And. Oh, w. W. Okay, let's give it a try. Why not, people? Ah, thank you so much. Let's work together. Let's spell it. M N I N I N I a. 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 Are you sure? Yes. yes. All yes. right. Thank you so much. It is like that one. <laughs> but I listen to some people saying, like, I. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, people. A. N. A. Exactly. Thank you so much. We have narrow. Later, I will explain this to you, right? Después tengo una práctica donde vamos a, a, a ver el significado de narrow. Así que, por el momento, lo dejamos en mini pausa. Let's continue with the other one. How do you say, teacher? Narrow. This one, narrow. 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 Mm -hmm. narrow. Thank you. ¿Qué significa? Right? I, I will explain this one later on. Ya en la siguiente, después de esta práctica, les explico el vocabulario. No problem. Ah. Mm -hmm. Let's see on this one. Hmm. How do Discoping. we spell this one? Ah, thank you. How do we spell it? D D, 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 D
That is what you mentioned. D-E. D-E. The same. D-I. 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 Hey, people, the virus, what's going on? Hey, este de la unidad uno, people, no me aflijan. No me aflijan. Estamos mal. No, las vocales son costosas, a veces se confunden. Yo les comprendo porque a mí me pasa. All right? D-I-S, and then? Oh, interesting. Interesting. This one? Yes, people, that's correct. Listen and repeat after me. Disgusting. 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 Thank you so much. Wow. Later, we will we learn on the meaning of this one. Luego vamos a aprender el significado de esta palabra, ¿ok? Por el momento, la vemos cómo se escribe y cómo se pronuncia. Disgusting. 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 All right, all right. Thank you so much. Let's check on the next one, people. I believe I have one more, if I am not mistaken. That's more. <laughs> Check on this one. How do we spell it, people? S M M A L A. And what about in this part? It's my. Check on this. We have an extra space. Ahí nos hace falta un espacio. ¿Con qué lo llenamos? Lo quitamos, teacher. Lo quitamos. Yes. Lo quitamos, chido. Excellent. Good solution, people. Good solution. All right. Se fueron ahí rapidito. Sí, me la puedo, me la puedo. Check on this one, people. Let's see on this one. Yo se los muestro por acá. Don't worry. Oh, interesting. How do we spell it? Let's spell it together. S. 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 You give me a heart attack. Me van a dar un ataque al corazón, mucha. No, 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 no. We say. Why? 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 Algo hasta con miedito los escuché que me. Why? Así como que no. Why? Así como entre diente, va. No, nah, don't worry. Check on this one. We go like that one, right? We say S-M-E-L-L-Y. That is the one. Practice and repeat after me. Smelly. 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 Exactly. Thank you so much. Smelly, smelly, smelly. There you are. Let's see. And this one. Let's check on some vocabulary. Now we learn the meaning of this information. Ahora sí vamos a aprender un tanto el, el significado de las palabras. Check on this one. All right. Take a look at the illustration. Which word can we use to describe this one? De las que deletreamos y aprendimos eh, pronunciación, ¿cuál creen que nos ayuda a describir ese tipo de escenario? Hmm. Give me, guess it, guess it, no problem. Ahí adivinando, no se preocupe. Narrow. Narrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. More alternatives. Let me have more people. Don't, don't, don't worry about correct answers. Recuerde que en las prácticas lo importante es pronunciar, lo importante es participar. De pronto, como grupo, vamos a saber cuál es la respuesta. ¿okay? Pero si usted no se la sabe, dígame una opción. Al final practico. Narrow. Eso es lo que a mí me Narrow. interesa. We say Narrow. Smelly. All right. Thank you so much. Check on this one. How do we say this one? We say? Narrow. 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 Check on the illustration. Narrow. In that place. What is the meaning of narrow? Vea la ilustración. ¿Qué significará narrow? Narrow. Estrecho. 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 Angosto. Exacto. Estrecho o angosto. Agosto. Narrow. No, agosto no. <laughs> agosto. Agosto. <laughs> you get like that one. So that is how you can say a description about something. Right? Narrow. Ahí va a depender del lugar que estemos, eh, que podamos mencionar. ¿Ok? Porque acá 
narro es angosto, es una descripción. Todas estas son descripciones, ¿ok? Pero yo puedo decir a narrow office, una oficina angosta. For example, different complements. Let me give you an example. Like narrow office or narrow hall. Un pasillo angosto. Narrow, narrow hall. Uh -huh. Narrow. Uh, street way. Play. Narrow street, street narrow, narrow way. How? Narrow how? Yeah. It's possible. How? Es posible en una casa angosta. Tell me. Y para decir callejón. Uh, uh -huh. In this one we say um, I, callejón tal cual sería a dead end. Acá, oh, okay. Un dead Uy, end, eso, como eh. un camino muerto. Dead end. Sería un callejón porque ya no lleva a ningún lado, sino que ahí termina. O sea, está cerrado oh, el pedazo. Okay. A dead end. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Thank you. You see? Thank Thank you. You. Tell me, tell me. He eh, eh, visto Ali. Ali, yeah, that's the way. Ese es pasillo también. Ali, Ali, correcto. Ali. ¿Mm? Es un pasillo tal cual Creo como que vemos hay por ahí. Puede decir alleyway. Uh, yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Ali or dead end. Un callejón tal cual. Si consideramos mm -hmm. que ya no es un lugar que no conecta con otro, entonces sería un dead end. Si un callejón lo consideramos como un pasillo, ¿verdad? que es tal vez lo, la idea que nosotros tenemos, entonces sería como un alley, como lo mencionaba Mario. ¿Mm? Oh, vale. mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, let's work on the next one. Thank you so much. You see? Different complements for this exercise. But good job. Remember, all of them are descriptions. Vea que todas estas son descripciones y luego le incorporamos eh, algún lugar o algo, ¿verdad? Porque puede ser la descripción de todo esto. Check on this illustration. Vocabulary word for this one. Smelly. Disgusting. Smelly. Smelly. It, it could be applicable. Disgusting is applicable. But the best disgusting. one? Smelly. Smelly. Yeah, smelly. <laughs> Aplica disgusting también. Pero el más adecuado es smelly. Smelly. What is the meaning of a smelly? Mal olor. Mal olor. O apestoso, right? Smelly. What compliments can we have for smelly people? Possible combination for smelly. Smelly what? The smelly what? Sorry. The top is smelly. Thank you. Smelly top. Smelly topper, like like the one where you eat. Oh my goodness! No, smelly topper. And no. smelly bathroom, exactly. It's possible. Why not? Waste basurero, como se dice? Waste waste basket. Waste basket, exactly. It's possible. Smelly waste basket. Choose hmm? choose. Oh, it could be possible, right? We don't Ooh. know, but applicable, all right? It's mm -hmm. applicable, that means smelly shoes, all right? Shoes. It's, it's possible, right? Smelly shoes, all right? Con aquel compañero o compañera que se quita los zapatitos en la oficina. ¿va? Yo sé que right. tienen ustedes más de uno. Yo sé que tienen más de uno, ¿verdad? Guacala. Yo, yo sé, guacala. <laughs> El olor a queso. Y la queso. Y la queso. La que, la que sobreviva, diga. La que sobreviva. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. You see, different combinations for this one, but we can say smelly, smelly on this one. What about the other? What description Comfort. can we say? Comfort. Comfortable. Uh, I'm not comfortable. No. 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 Comfortable. 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 For example, comfortable bed. Where is comfortable people? My bed is comfortable. My bed is comfortable. Yeah, exactly. Sofa. A sofa. Comfortable sofa. Sofa. Ah. A comfortable chair for your office. Yes, Amazing. Possible. It's possible, right? It's possible to have like that one. Let's see the next one. Take a look at this expression and what word can we use? Disgusting. 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 Like, eh, right? Eh. Yeah. Something that you don't like. Disgusting. 
What is the meaning of that one? ¿Qué significará disgusting? Disgustado. Disgustado, no literal. No. Porque disgustado sería como enojo. Y vea la expresión del chico, no está enojado. Tal cual. Asqueroso. Asque algo asqueroso. asqueroso. Ok, algo asqueroso. Algo disgusting. That's correct. That's correct. What can we say with disgusting? What possible compliment can we have? ¿Qué complemento podríamos ponerle al disgusting? Juice. Disgusting, disgusting. juice. For this one, yeah, disgusting juice. Based in on the picture. Basada en la, en la ilustración, sí, un disgusting juice. Un jugo desagradable. Vegetable, it's possible. Other possible complement. Now, something that we can incorporate for disgusting. ¿Qué otro? Drink, drink Drink cacao. Carajo. 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 Cacao, dije yo, cacao. Sí, soy rico. Dije. Qué raro. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No problem. All right. Disgusting. Let's see. Carajo. Drink. It is possible. Algunas gente dicen que, que es bueno. Drink a beer. A beer. Hey, no, people, no. Beer. It's not Friday. Hoy no es viernes todavía, people. No, no, not Friday. Right. You go like this one. It is possible to this to use this one with a place. For example, you can say a disgusting office. Una oficina desagradable. Podríamos utilizarlo igual con un lugar. Disgusting office. Disgusting bed. Disgusting. Un medicamento. Is it's possible? Yeah, it's possible. Mm -hmm. This is applicable yes. for many things. Es aplicable a diferentes. Cosas a personas, incluso puede decir, ah, uh, this is a disgusting person, una oh, persona desagradable. Ma no, 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 people, hey, no están grabando, people, don't say that. <laughs> disgusting, my girl. Disgusting, my hey, It's possible, right? It's possible. It's applicable. It is possible to express like that one. Thank you so much. I believe I have one more. Let me see if I am not mistaken. Yes. We have this one. What description can we use in this one? Check, check on the teddy bear. Ve el osito que tiene la chica por ahí. Oh, ¿Qué descripción? Oh, oh. Teddy bear. Teddy that, bear. Is, that is a place. That is, that is the object. Ese es el objeto. Yeah. The teddy bear. Description for the teddy bear de los que hemos aprendido. Oh, huge. It's be, it's huge. 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 It's very, it's very huge. Teacher, All right. You know, Tell me. Se puede utilizar very, very. Ah, interesante. Ya entendiendo que es inmenso, grande. No, en este okay. caso, el adjetivo ya estaría como en el top. Ya estaría en su calificación o expresión más alta. Entonces ya no tenemos huge. El huge ya no llevaría ninguna otra palabra que le dé más intensidad porque ya es inmenso. No podríamos decir muy inmenso. Entonces solo nos quedamos con huge. En algunos casos... Pero ese es abrazo, ¿verdad? ¿Ah? No. Ese es abrazo. No, no, no. No, no, no. The, for the action is like this one. The action is H-U-G. This is the action. Hug. Hug. But this is huge huge it's different right ve que es diferente la acción la tenemos en rojo hug abrazar huge is a description right huge is a description ahí vea que esa es la descripción pero comentando tell me dime de digamos se ahí específicamente o literalmente qué qué significa porque no sé si como está the, the bigger, the, no sé, hay distintos. Uh -huh. eh, uh -huh. Esos son adjetivos comparativos, como grande, más grande y el más grande. ¿okay? Uh -huh. Eso sí es una categoría en que utilizamos un adjetivo, le hacemos ciertos cambios para darle intensidad y hacemos comparación y utilizamos los superlativos, que algo puede ser grande, algo puede ser más grande que otro objeto cuando comparamos dos y dentro de todos los que estamos considerando, sean uno, cinco o veinte objetos, hay uno que es el más grande de todos. Ahí sí entra en este, en este tipo de, de comparaciones y superlativos con los adjetivos. Hay algunos adjetivos que no se pueden utilizar con eso porque ya están como al tope de su calidad. 
por lo menos huge, que ya es inmenso, no puedo decir que este es más inmenso que el otro. O sea, inmenso ya está en el tope de la calidad. Este no entra en, es, en ese tipo de categoría para hacer comparaciones. Tal vez pudiéramos utilizar el, 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 el adjetivo a big. Ahí sí, big, bigger, the biggest. Right? Pero en este huge, ese está arriba de todo eso y ya no tiene comparación. Uh -huh. Casi como, o sea, que es que... como gigante inmenso. Exacto, o sea, ya no, ya no podemos decir es más gigante, no, o sea, puede ser más grande, sí, pero más gigante, ah, ah, gigante ya es, es como que el top en, 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 en esa categoría, en esa característica. Pero es similar a, a, a gigante, entonces. Exacto, exacto, correcto. Okay. Ya, no se, ya no tendrían comparación, sino que ya expresan un grado súper alto. Ok. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for that one. And good job at this moment on this practice. Now, let's work on something because for this exercise, we have, oh, let me see. I, I guess I skipped on this one. Let me see. Yeah. Let me change and project to you some information from the book. In this one, let me make it smaller. No, this is the one. All right, let's check on this one. There are some descriptions at this moment. Tell me, people, what is the name of this man? Mr. Pass. Huh? Mr. Pass. Exactly, Mr. Pass, that's correct. And this is his workplace. What is the description about his workplace, people? Let's work together on this exercise. What is the first des description we have? This one? Let's there read. Is, there is, there is a beautiful, beautiful lobby. lobby. A beautiful lobby. Check on this one. We can incorporate a, a description before the element we are expressing. What about the next one? Let's read together. There are, are rooms. Exactly. The next one we say there's huge parking lot. A huge parking lot. A huge parking lot. Exactly. Thank you. And the last description for this place. There are there are three high elevation. Thank you. Oh, Check on this nice. one. The pronunciation of this one, take. La CH en este caso suena como un sonido de K, no como ch, ch, take. Yes. Okay. I take. Right? I take. Take. Como que usted tuviera esto, ¿verdad? High take. Así tal cual. I take. Mm -hmm. High-tech elevator. No, no, tech, no. Uh, uh, High-tech. Tech. Vean las letras rojas. Esa sería, esa sería la pronunciación. Así como está en rojo, así lo pronuncia. T-E-K. Tech. Tech. Mm -hmm. tech. High tech. Tech. High-tech elevator. Tech elevator. Perfect. Thank you so much. Now, notice something in this one. That is the key for something that I want to explain to you. Check on the, the check on the order. Let's check on let's check on the format, right? In the first one, we have what place are we talking about in the first in the first example? De qué lugar están hablando en el primer ejemplo que tenemos en pantalla? Qué lugar? Yes. Solo el lugar. Qué lugar es? Workplace. No. Work? Workplace. No, sí no, estamos no, hablando del work, pero en la primera oración, ¿qué lugar está? Lobby. Ah, the lobby. Ah, lobby. Exacto. Lobby. lobby. Right. It's like a reception, exactly. Oh, Como una recepción, un lobby, ¿ok? Creo que en español utilizamos la misma palabra, un lobby, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Lobby. Now, check on this one. Before the place, we can, we can give a description different from Spanish. The description in Spanish is after the place. For example, don't do this one, right? No, voy a poner esto acá, pero no para que me lo copie, sino que para que vea lo, la diferencia entre el idioma. ¿Dónde iría la descripción en el español? Si estamos diciendo que es bonito, ¿dónde ponemos la descripción? ¿Va antes o va después? 
Después. Después, all right? Es un lobby bonito. Prácticamente eso diríamos, ¿verdad? Si usted cae en lo de traducir, aquí es donde la traducción no nos ayuda y juega en nuestra contra. Porque usted muy probablemente me va a decir lobby beautiful. Porque se está usted <coughs> refiriendo y está siguiendo el orden o el patrón que utilizaría en el español. Exacto. Y en cada idioma tiene, el o, tiene cierto orden para expresar las ideas, ¿ok? Entonces, nosotros en español, si lo hacemos bien de español una traducción, tal vez dijéramos lobby beautiful, por la referencia del español, es un lobby bonito. Pero, ¿cómo es el orden en inglés? Vea el primer ejemplo, nos referimos al primer ejemplo. ¿Qué orden beautiful tenemos? Lobby. Beautiful, beautiful lobby. Ah, thank you, Be Let's see, beauty, let's see, beautiful, lovey. That is a combination in English, people, right? So we have uh, the description, right? Plus, uh, let's say, in this case, the place. Vamos a ponernos con la, con, en la referencia del lugar. Okay? Vamos siempre con una descripción y después un place. Plus play. Exacto. Si lo queremos, así con bien palabras, bien técnicas del inglés y toda la cosa, sería un adjetivo antes del sustantivo que estamos utilizando. Ese sería el orden. Yo se los pongo como description más lugar para que sea más entendible y más práctico. ¿okay? Pero técnicamente es un adjetivo antes de un sustantivo. Ese es el orden que van a llevar siempre las descripciones. That is applicable for places and for people, ¿ok? No es solo con lugares, sino que un sustantivo puede ser una persona también. Si yo hablo de una, de una chica bonita, diría entonces, girl, beautiful. Beautiful girl. girl. Ah, beautiful girl. girl. Exactly. And check on this one. We continue with the same info. Seguimos con el mismo formato. Un adjetivo, una descripción, que sería beautiful, y después un sustantivo. En el primero yo tengo el lobby, un lugar, pero en el segundo yo tengo una persona, una chica, una chica bonita. Vea que el orden siempre va a ser el mismo. Descripción antes de lo que estamos mencionando. Colors are part of description as well. Right? Los colores son parte de una descripción. For example, in English, si quisiéramos decir un carro rojo, como dijéramos carro rojo en inglés? The red car. Red car. Red car. Red car. Red car. Exacto. Si A fuera bien, bien del español, dijéramos ca carro red, porque en español decimos carro rojo. No decimos un rojo carro. Not applicable in Spanish. But in English... There is a very specific order. So let's keep it up and let's, let's pay attention to the correct order on these elements, all right? Si prestemosle atención al orden requerido para las descripciones. Siempre van a ir antes de lo que se está mencionando. Let's go for the next one. Mm -hmm. Cherry, a... cuando describimos algo de una persona, también aplica. Eh, sí, 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 all right? Esa es, es, es aplicable igual, la mis, el mismo orden vamos a utilizar. Por ejemplo, si yo hablo... Eh, dicen rubia, dicen blonde. Ah, exacto, exacto. Pero ahí rubia no tiene la combinación de adjetivo más sustantivo. Es una característica. Exacto. Ahí yo digo, she is blonde. Ajá. Ella es rubia. Rubia. Exacto. Si yo quiero decir tiene pelo rubio, entonces ahí sí ya, ya es diferente. Dice blonde hair. Ahí sí, ahí sí estamos en la combinación de descripción más sustantivo. Uh -huh. Pero depende, depende, tal vez a veces hay cierto juego cómo expresar las cosas, pero cuando tenemos ese tipo de frases, siempre el adjetivo va a ir antes de lo que estamos haciendo mención. Now. Let's read on the second one, and that is the second point that I want to highlight with you. What is the second exercise in plural people? There. There second are. Uh -huh. There are. Uh -huh. Pronunciation. There are. 
Comfortable. 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 Room. Exactly. Thank you so much. All right. Check on this one. We have the information like this, right? Rooms. Tell me, is this plural or singular? Rooms, mm. plural, plural or singular? Plural, plural. 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 Exactly, right? Plural. It is plural. All right, notice something. What about on the description? What adjective are they using? What is the adjective before rooms? ¿Qué adjetivo se utilizó antes de la palabra rooms? Comfortable. 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 Vamos a moverlo un poquitito por acá, all right? Com comfortable. Exactly. Comfortable. Comfortable. Notice something. In English, adjectives or descriptions don't have plural forms. And that's a difference from English to Spanish. Vea que las descripciones, los adjetivos, aunque hagan referencia a un elemento plural, no cambian, no se, no se utiliza un elemento plural en el adjetivo. No se pluralizan. A diferencia del español, si yo digo cuartos, ya no digo cuartos cómodo, sino que dijera en español cuartos cómodos. Cómodos. Vea cómodos. que el adjetivo lleva número en español. Right? Por ejemplo, un chico inteligente. Vea cómo el adjetivo se adecua en número con lo que está describiendo en español. Si yo digo chicos, ¿será que digo chicos inteligente? No, Decimos no. chicos inteligentes. 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 Eh, exacto. Vea que en el español el adjetivo lleva número, implícitamente lleva un número, porque se pluraliza también, ¿ok? Chicas bonitas, carros grandes. Vea que todo lo pluralizamos. No decimos carros grandes, ¿Eh? ¿ok? Vea esa, esa, ese dato. But in English, no. No complications in English. Vea que en inglés eso no ocurre. Se lo comento para que no me vaya a poner usted comfortable rooms. Porque eso es algo muy común. Que le queremos poner plural al adjetivo porque estamos tomando como referencia el español. Vea que no llevan plurales. No, no, no. Not like that one. Los adjetivos no se pluralizan, aunque estén describiendo algo plural. Eso sí es, eso es otro rollo, ¿verdad? Los elementos pueden ser plurales, pero los adjetivos no. No, no, no. Por ejemplo, let me see students, right? Estamos hablando de ustedes, los estudiantes. Díganme un adjetivo para describirlos a ustedes como clase. ¿Qué adjetivo puedo utilizar con ustedes, chicos y chicas? Very intelligent. Ah, intelligent, <laughs> right? Exactly. Exactly. Intelligent. Check on this one. Students, plural. Vea que el, el estudiante es plural, pero la descripción o la descripción va en singular. No le agregamos nada, 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 nada. Y usted me dice, teacher, y entonces en español estoy diciendo algo feo. No, estoy diciendo algo raro. Eso es la interpretación y las reglas de cada idioma. Yo le digo intelligent students y si yo lo traduzco a mi idioma, yo digo estudiantes inteligentes. Yo agrego lo necesario porque ese es mi idioma en el español. But in English, no, not possible to have plural adjectives. No se pluralizan. Ve el último ejemplo que alcanzamos a ver ahí en, la, en, en, en el recuadro de Mr. Paz. What, is the, what, uh, what element is the person talking about? ¿De qué están hablando en la última oración? Elevators. Elevators, all right. Thank you so much. Plural or singular for elevators? Plural. Plural. Plural, exactly. We have a plural, a plural element. Elevators. And what is that description? High tech. High tech. High tech, all right. Que son, pues, mm. prácticamente muy modernos. High tech. Vea que high tech igual 
no se le agrega absolutamente nada, aunque el elemento que continúa es plural. High take elevators. No plural Ay, for that. Te... No vamos a hacer nada con los adjetivos. No les agregamos absolutamente nada y siempre van antes de lo que estamos describiendo. High tech elevators. Before we continue, is there any question about this? No. No? No, no this moment? Teacher. All right. Thank you. Let's work for the next exercise and let's check on some information. We read some description about the next person. What is the name of this lady? Mr. Aguilar. Uh, check on this one. Aguilar. Do we say do we say Mr. with with ladies? Miss Miss Aguilar. Ah, Miss Aguilar. Exactly. Thank you so much. Good job. This is this is just to check that you are paying attention, right? So para chequear si ustedes están prestando atención, me llega. Podemos utilizar Misses con las chicas, ¿ok? O, puede decir, o podemos decir Miss en este caso. Miss. Recuérdense que el Miss no hace referencia a casado, soltera, sino que simplemente una chica, right? Al, alguien, de, de, alguien femenino, right? Miss Aguilar. Let me erase the other one. Déjeme borrar el otro porque el Mr. Uh, no estaría correcto acá. Ok, ya lo tenemos por acá. Now, let's read the next description, people. What is the description the, uh, of the office? There, everybody. There. There is, there is a narrow, a narrow, narrow station area. 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 Exactly. What about area. the other one? The other description? There are. There are. There are. A very dining room. Very dining room. Very dining room. Exactly. What is a dining room, people? ¿Qué será un dining room? ¿Es como la sala? No. No tanto como una sala. De receso. Dining room es como un comedor. ¿Ok? Ok. Dining room, donde usted puede pues tomar sus alimentos, un área específico para eso. Un dining room. What about the next description, people of the place? There is, there is, there is an, an ugly, ugly photocopy center. Copy center. Exactly, an ugly, right? And the last one. There are small offices. There Sorry. are small offices. Thank you so much for oh, that please. one. Notice something, people. We have a description about elements, but we continue with the same information, right? Check on this one. Reception area, singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Check on this one. Recuerden que para los singulares utilizamos our an. Y eso se cumple siempre, siempre, siempre. Y lo único que hemos hecho es agregar una descripción. Eso es lo único que hemos hecho. ¿Qué tipo de reception es? Es una narrow. narrow. Vea narrow. que dónde, dónde va la posición. A narrow reception area. The other one, it's pretty much the same. Los otros son prácticamente lo mismo. Eh, dining rooms, singular or plural. 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 Do we need our and? ¿Será que necesitamos our and cuando es plural? No. 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 Vea que aquí la persona quiso ser específica y nos dio una cantidad específica. Y eso es válido. Two. Pero mire qué elemento tenemos entre la cantidad o el artículo y el lugar. Una description. Very sucios. Very dining rooms. The same is for the rest. Lo mismo ocurre con las siguientes, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tipo de photocopy center? Ugly. An ugly photocopy center and so on. That is the way to make a description about elements. We use the information and we report something like this. Now, before we go to the practice, is there any question on this information? 
questions, questions? No. No? No. All right. Let's do something. Let's work on this exercise. <coughs> and let me copy the link to you. And this will be the last practice for today's session. Déjeme compartirle el último ejercicio que vamos a realizar para esta sesión. Let me copy this one to you. And I need your collaboration to access to the link. Type in your name and then you start practicing. I need your collaboration to share a description about your workplace. Necesito que usted me comparta una descripción escrita de su lugar de trabajo. Vamos a mencionar qué hay en nuestro lugar de trabajo, pero aparte de mencionar el lugar, vamos a dar una descripción. Ese es el conjunto de, de, de la práctica, de todo lo que hemos hecho. Let me copy this to you. Les voy a mostrar por acá en pantalla cómo lo vamos a hacer. Si yo quiero hablar de mi trabajo, there is a, voy a poner big a lobby. ¿Ok? Vea por acá, yo ya estoy compartiendo una descripción de mi lugar de trabajo. There is a big lobby. El lobby de mi trabajo es grande. Entonces, yo reporto que algo existe, pero también doy una descripción. There is a big lobby. And let me create another one. There is, oh, there are, there are, let's see, mm, there are comfortable offices, right? There are comfortable offices. Now, I need your collaboration to practice with at least Two sentences, please. Necesito su colaboración para que pueda participar por lo menos con dos oraciones reportando que hay en su trabajo y utilizando adjetivos tal cual como lo hemos practicado en esta sesión. Thank you so much. I have ten people. You may begin. Pueden iniciar y pueden po ir poniendo sus, eh, sus comentarios y yo les voy dando retroalimentación. Thank you so much. There is a big reception. Thank you so much, Carmen. Good one. There are a computer offices. Check on this one, Lisette, please. Vea, Lisette, lo que hemos comentado. El A no lo utilizamos cuando es plural. Entonces, tenemos de más el A en esa oración y no me ha incorporado una descripción, ¿ok? ¿Qué tipo de, ofici de, de oficinas? Son grandes, son pequeñas, son angostas, son bonitas, son... Eh, Póngamele una descripción, por favor. ¿Okay? Haga los cambios o puede volver a comentarlo si usted gusta. No problem. Mario Alberto, there is a big production plant. Rosa Beltrán, there is a small office. Okay, thank you. Eduardo Josué, there is a small reception. Moisés, there is a beautiful desktop. Oh, interesting. Thank you. Jocelyn, there is a big laboratory area. Okay, thank you. Manfredo, there are comfortable chairs. Amazing. Thank you so much. Let's keep it up. Continuamos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There is a small shop. Thank you, Heidi. Sarai, there is a small cafeteria. All right. All right. Mario, there is, there is a cafeteria. Thank you so much. Jocelyn. There is a narrow reception. All right, amazing. Thank you so much. Miss Aida, my lady. There is a huge dining room. Amazing. And that's a good one. Thank you, thank you. There is a beautiful park, Heidi. Thank you so much. Suleyma, there is a beautiful reception. Double check on spelling, Suleyma. Beautiful, only one L. El adjetivo beautiful solo lleva una L, mi Suleyma, para que pueda hacer los cambios. Beautiful. Jamilet, there are two small bathrooms. Check on this one. Jamilet, we need to make it, uh, we need to make it in plural. Tenemos elemento plural al inicio. There are, igualmente, two es plural, pero la palabra bathroom ya no es plural. Entonces, haga, pongámosle una S. 
there are two small bathrooms. Eso sí lo hacemos plural. Check on this one, Eduardo. There are noisy production stations. All right, Eduardo. Thank you so much for that one. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, Wilfredo. There is a boardroom. Thank you. There is Nestor. Something is missing, Nestor. Nos hace falta algo en la oración. Estamos hablando de singular. ¿Y qué ponemos a, las, a los elementos singulares, Nestor? Singular. Ah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Nos hace falta un elemento que puede tener una letra o puede tener dos letras. Check on this. When we say, Mr. Nestor, there is a small kitchen. Nos hace falta un A antes del adjetivo. Uh -huh. There is a small kitchen. Ah, uh, okay. Perfect, perfect. Make the changes. I believe you have the chance to make the changes. Creo que podemos editar las respuestas, así que vayan haciendo los cambios eh, requeridos de acuerdo a la retroalimentación. There isn't a Heidi, there is a lobby in shop. Check on this one, Miss Heidi. There isn't a lobby. Seguimos con un elemento singular. Necesitamos ponerle el artículo okay, There yeah. isn't a lobby Y en la siguiente podemos poner un artículo específico En la tienda In the shop There isn't a lobby In the shop And don't forget about the, the, the apostrophe No olvide el apóstrofe para hacer la contracción Si de forma escrita no me pone el apóstrofe Estaría incorrecta la escritura so, Double check on that one Let's see, Moises, there are interesting books. Thank you, Moises. Let's see, Jonathan, there is a large training room. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. Wilfredo, there is a reception room. There is a big meeting room. Thank you so much. Miss Lisette, me hizo los cambios, Miss Lisette. Hello, hello, Lisette. Sí, porque le puse que era grande. There are big computer office. Ahí estamos, exacto. Ya, ya tenemos plural y ya tenemos... <laughs> eh, eh, me llega. There are big. Thank you so much. Let me check on the rest. Vamos a ver los demás. Hicimos los cambios. There is a small office. A reception. Beautiful. There is a big. Let me see. Nestor. There is a small kitchen. Good one, Nestor. Ahí estamos bien. There is a love in the shop. There is there is a love in the shop. Thank you, Heidi, for your, for your change on this one. There is a large training room. There is a big meeting room. Thank you so much. Did all of you participate with at least two options? Todos participamos, yo por, por lo menos con dos opciones. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you yes, so much. You. Thank you, thank you. You did very nice on this one, people. So people. congratulations for you on this practice. Remember to keep on, uh, you know, on working on this one to continue improving. I congratulate all of you. Thank you so much. Felicidades a todos. Lo hemos hecho muy bien para expresar ideas utilizando plural, singular. Y ahora que incorporamos igualmente una descripción de estos lugares. Congratulations to you. Now, before we leave, I just want to remind you of something. Don't forget about the homework assignment, all right? No olvide la tarea de la semana 4. Déjenme ver por acá. Algunos ya tuve la chance de darles revisión. Por eso algunos ya tienen calificación. Otros todavía me faltan, pero son los que están haciendo envíos todavía. Tengo 14 de 30 alumnos. Así que no olvide su evaluación, su tarea número 4. Por favor, por favor, don't forget. And what is happening tomorrow, people? We have a special event. Tenemos un evento especial mañana. What is happening? El exam. exam. Final exam. Two. Final exam. Perfect. Final exam. Tenemos un examen final. Así que yo sé que lo estamos haciendo muy bien. Así que yo sé que van por un sub 9.9998. Algo así. No creo que saquemos menos de eso. People saw. Sí. Be ready. And we do it during class time. Lo vamos a hacer durante la clase. Así que vamos a tener un repaso, vamos a practicar y luego nos vamos a quedar con el tiempo para la evaluación que lo hacemos. Vaya, pues. Thank you so much. 
No, no, no se enojen, no se enojen conmigo, don't worry. Piché. Right, que ya casi lo chancletean. Hijo, toda la clase mañana. La unidad, para hacer el 3, examen. la unidad 3 y 4. Ya evaluamos unidad 1 y unidad 2 en el examen de medio curso. Ahora vamos con la 3 y la 4. Vocabulario y estructura. Dice, ¿Mm? más o menos ¿Mm? como que ahora estaríamos realizando el, el examen. Quizás en la última, en los últimos 40 minutos o en, los última, o en la última media hora aproximadamente. El examen no está tan largo, así que ese okay. es el tiempo prudencial que es, les podemos asignar para que ustedes lo hagan. ¿Mm? De 8 a 10. De 8 a 10, híjole, nombre, y con libro abierto. No. All right. <risa> People, it was nice working with you. Thank you so much. Now, go to sleep, relax, and be ready for tomorrow because we have amazing things in the class. So, have a good night, people, and see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, good night. 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 Good night.